Thank you. Welcome to Good News Week. And the big news? Ninjas. <laughs> yeah? Ninjas. Oh, my favourite story. A student is walking home from a railway station in Sydney. Three men allegedly follow him into a dark alley, then attack, grabbing his mobile and his iPod. But concealed in the shadows is another student from the local ninja training school. <laughs> and then... Talon, someone's getting mugged. Reflexes were like lightning. Three thugs were bashing a 27-year-old medical student from Germany. But at the sight of the ninjas, the three young men fled. <laughs> Sometimes I just love Sydney. One moment the muggers were in the inner west, the next they were in an early Steven Seagal film. <laughs> oh, the humanity. You know you're being attacked by a ninja when it feels like your ass is being kicked, but when you turn around, there's no one there. <laughs> yes, little did the muggers know when they launched their attack that lurking in the shadows was one of Western Sydney's deadliest ninjas, Nathan Smith. <laughs> Apparently Nathan was standing in the shadows because he was doing his ninja school homework, which was standing in the shadows. <laughs> it took the assailants a few minutes to realise what was going on. At first they thought they were being attacked by angry Islamic women in full burqas. The student was a bit shocked. Last time he was robbed, at least the guys dressed up as pizza-loving turtles got his iPod back. <laughs> yeah, where is it? Yeah! A turtle joke! <laughs> BP is still trying to plug the massive oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, but they're running out of ideas, so they're asking the public for help. On Twitter. <laughs> I have an idea. I have an idea. They don't know what they're doing! Yeah. As well as suggesting great ideas, you can also become the oil spill's friend on Facebook. <laughs> so far, BP has received over 5,000 tweets, most of them from trapped seagulls. <laughs> BP is urging people to look on the bright side of the spill. Like, now you can drive your speedboat all the way from Mexico to Florida. <laughs> and fill up before you hit land. <laughs> and on their merchandise page, you can buy oil disaster caps, T-shirts, coffee mugs, even a cookbook with cheap and easy meals using sweet, crude and seafood. <laughs> In London, the mascots for the 2012 Olympics have been unveiled. And aren't they fantastic? <laughs> oh. oh, 2012. Now we know what Teletubbies look like once they've been skinned and polished. <laughs> it's just a shame the blue one's wet himself. Forget the athletes, someone needs to urine test the Olympic Committee. <laughs> They've been described as one-eyed, sexless, intimidating monsters. <laughs> so it's nice to see Gordon Brown is still working. <laughs> Some detractors say they look like giant penises. <laughs> but that's ridiculous. <laughs> Until you see them spurting from their blowholes. <laughs> Wenlock on the left represents the Olympics and Mandeville on the right represents the Paralympics. And I don't think it reflects badly on our great Paralympic community when I say they both look equally munted. <laughs> but after months of testing, the focus group said, all right, the mascots are fine. For God's sake, let us leave. <laughs> after the games, Wenlock and Mandeville plan to take a holiday to catch up with relatives in Roswell and friends. <laughs> and friends at Tom Cruise's place. <laughs> and that's the good news.
Thank you, good evening. Tonight, because we'd never lie to you, as far as you know, the gospel truth of Mikey Robbins. <laughs> the cool style of Cal Wilson. <laughs> and from Master Chef, journalist, author, Logie winner, the big hunk of beefcake, Matt Preston. <laughs> And they're getting ready to slice and dice the delectable dish, Claire Hooper. <laughs> Why stop at one master chef? He's been voted one of the best in the world. He's got restaurants, he's got cookbooks. He is George Columbaris. <laughs> and just back from not being crock bait in Kakadu, the yummy Corinne Grant. So? I fully didn't get eaten by anything. Woohoo! What about mosquitoes? Oh, yeah, actually, I did yeah, get yeah. eaten by a lot of those. They love it. They love the woman, don't they? They love the woman flesh mosquitoes. <laughs> what is wrong with you, you <laughs> twisted little man? They love it. Apparently, mosquitoes love woman flesh. You have a woman around you, you don't get bitten by mosquitoes. That's why I always keep one. Oh, really? Spare. Yeah. <laughs> when I go to the tropics, I always keep a lady there. They get eaten, I'm all right. Do you, when you go to the tropics, do you then take a tropical strength lady with you? Tro a tropical strength lady. <laughs> I want to attract the mosquitoes. <laughs> I've always wondered with those, um, because you've, you've done a holiday show, why is there always the, the obligatory um, in the pool shot? The, the, <laughs> I, I, well, I don't know. They, they were rock pools. And they were delightful and relaxing. <laughs> uh, I've heard the rock pools up there are quite warm. <laughs> Are we allowed to explain? We're no. allowed to talk about this? We're no. not. No. Uh, we can't explain that, ladies no. and gentlemen, but if you go to a website somewhere, you'll find out. Uh, George, your first time on the show? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a virgin. <laughs> and maybe a little bit too much information for everyone, but... Hey, Paul, you owe me ten bucks. <laughs> Uh, looking forward to the conflict tonight? Oh, it's great. I mean, it's nice to see Matt so far away rather than right next to me. <laughs> yeah. um, has, it been, has it been very difficult? No, I love him, I love him. Very um, difficult after the, after the Logie, after the Silver Logie? Has he been difficult to work with? Um, no, no, he's been good. He's been, he's been good. You know, occasionally we've got to pop it a little bit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he, he's, he's great. Right. We're, we're a big family. And I don't see the guys much, but now I've got my separate dressing room and the Winnebago yeah. and the, 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 the other driver and all that kind of jazz, you know. Occasionally I come on and George is kept in a separate cage away from us. You know, not, not the normal stuff that happens. I, I have got a small cage. Matt's got a big one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, George. Matt's not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, George. Oh, oh, it's nasty. You, you think it's difficult uh, working with someone you know, once they've won a silver logie? Try working with someone once they've lost a gold logie. <laughs> I don't feel that I lost the gold logie. I feel Australia lost a champion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> not that funny. No, not that funny. Cal. <laughs> uh, What's it like being next to Matt and having George in the room? Oh, it's brilliant. I just, I obsessively, I call it common tweeting. When, I, I'm, when I'm on Twitter, I just totally, constantly tweet MasterChef. So I'm losing my mind. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I want to know how you guys got changed so fast because you've just been on MasterChef and now you're wearing different clothes. Oh. <laughs> Have to tweet that, excuse What's me. What's happened yeah. to... What's the other fellow's name? Gary. What's happened to Gary? Why isn't he here? Gary's in the audience. Is yeah. he? Mm. Security, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh at George's jokes or Gary will get you. <laughs> uh, the entree tonight is What's the Story? Micah Calmat, your number's up. OK. Yes. Yeah, what's it about? Ooh, yeah. that's interesting. Well, oh, I know. Oh, yeah. who's that? Oh, she's got lovely hair. She does. <laughs> oh. He hasn't. He... <laughs> Not on his head, anyway. <laughs> So is that what's in the budget smugglers? Maybe. Maybe huh? just, just packed with adult fur. Yeah, massively her suit. <laughs> he, he is a hairy man. I mean, let's face it, we've all seen him semi-naked and... Well, yeah, that's when you find out you're really not gay. Um... <laughs> thought that Tony Abbott could enter the Birdman rally and not bother making a contraption. <laughs> it's, it's, been a, it's been a weird week in politics, hasn't it, kids? It has, it has. Uh, so the story that we're talking about? Yes, well, it's about the, the popularity polls mm -hmm. and, and, and Ruddy's gone down. 
And yet, you, you would assume that then Miss Rabbit would be going up, but he doesn't seem to be going up either. Miss, Miss Gillard's going up, isn't she? Mm. So is Gillard going to be the next male Prime Minister of Australia? <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm up for that. Can you sort imagine of we'd have like it? National Cravat Day? You know, <laughs> it'd be great. We all walk around naked with cravats on. <laughs> and that's when you find out you're not gay. <laughs> so, and, and, but, uh, Abbott had that weird thing about. Oh, we were saying, um, oh, sometimes I don't tell the truth because I get a bit carried away and I make up good stuff, but you can trust me. Yeah. I think that's pretty much I think that's verbatim what he said. Oh, Isn't that I'm, the I'm, kind I'm, of thing that six-year-olds say in show and tell? <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's been a really unusual week in the, in the, in the polls for, for, for both leaders. And Julia Gillard seems to be... She's doing a bit of a Steve Bradbury. She's sort of coming through from behind. She's um, a bit more talented than Steve Bradbury, Julia she's Gillard. She's a smart woman. And a wonderful ice skater as well, I suspect. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they do have it. Ten points. Take them in to the game. The government isn't travelling too well at the moment, but despite all their problems, the Prime Minister says he won't be changing his style just to win votes. Yes, that's right, apparently Kevin Rudd has a style. <laughs> and that's why voters are turning to Tony Abbott. He says any old shit, whether he means it or not. <laughs> despite taking a battering, the Prime Minister is refusing to reinvent himself to take on Abbott, which is just as well, because if I see Kevin in Lycra, my eyes are coming out. <laughs> No, I... Ah. Oh, God, it'd be like two inner tubes having an argument. Ah. <laughs> when reminded that Rudd's popularity has actually just come down from unprecedented highs, Tony said, Oh, look, over there, it's a boat person. <laughs> <laughs> As a form of distraction to distract from... <laughs> They're just like crazy seagulls today. You throw jokes at them and they go... Oh, no. <laughs> actually, we ate, we ate seagull eggs. What? what? M M Matt and I, yeah. What, you were just peckish just and on the beach? No, 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 we, we seriously, we paid top dollar for seagull eggs. <gasps> Didn't Where? we just think of going to the beach <laughs> and getting some for free? Yeah, but yeah, George and I are not the sort of people who climb up cliffs to get seagull eggs. <laughs> look at us, do we, do we look like clambering types? <laughs> I have been wondering for years, when you see the seagulls like that, who actually ate the other leg? <laughs> well, you know. Now we know. <laughs> Legs or eggs here? Eggs. 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 Oh, I thought you said legs. Oh, no, no. no. Let me go legs. No. We're not totally heartless. That's why I was thinking, once you've, once you've got the first leg, it's going to be easy to catch the second one, isn't it? <laughs> I was just thinking, what a tiny, tiny drumstick. Like, how pointless would that drumstick be? Uh, actually, I wonder what a seagull egg would taste like. I'm thinking chips. <laughs> no, but you know what? One of them tasted like Panadol. What? I think they gave you a Panadol. <laughs> Some polls say Julia Gillard is only five points behind Rudd as preferred leader. This is the closest we've come to having a female Prime Minister since that brief period when Alexander Downer was leader of the opposition. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, George, I normally don't do this, but you were telling a story just before we went... Uh, uh, <laughs> To air about vegetable fat. Did you want to? Did you want to? No, tell? not vegetable no. fat. No, bench fat. Oh, bench fat. <laughs> yes. Bench fat. What's I was a finding bench hard fat? To... You know, it's George? interesting. Do vegetables have fat? No. Well, no. Avocado. Yes, but that's a fruit. We're, we're coming. How do I know this? Wrong. Wrong. Yeah, yeah, George. George. We're trying, we're trying to avoid this? the answer. What, so George, what is a bench? As a well, as a food journalist, and you as a food chef, therefore my my no, normal prey. Tell me, what is a bench fat, George? Come on. I tell you what. I might not know, but I've got one now. <laughs> You've got to remember, chefs work long hours, right? So, when you're up at the bench chopping, but during prep time, not, of course, when customers are there, um, they get up close to the bench. So, yeah, I don't know, something at happens. around groin level. Yeah, well, it's really hard for me because I'm, like, uh, really small, <laughs> so I need to... A lot of the older people up there going, just your height, George. <laughs> um, I need to get up on a crate, but, um, yeah. <laughs> so, 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 so a larger chef will rest his gut on the bench. <laughs> no! How, how beautifully naive he is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> what an innocent in the world. 
<laughs> this is oh, 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 that's the last time I ordered mayonnaise at your restaurant. Oh. <laughs> is it something that accidentally happens or do you seek it out? Like, do you go around the kitchen with your crate going, here's a nice bench, or is it just... <laughs> I'm busy and I'm suddenly having a nice time. <laughs> what I want to know is, why don't more people chop their vegetables on the washing machine then? <laughs> I think we'd better get back into familiar territory here. Uh, Claire, George, Corinne? Yes. yes. Join the queue. Right. Oh. So I'll put his name up on screen, please. It's Chris Evans. Thank you. He looks like a Labrador. That, is that... <laughs> A oh, and some sort of student, and then and somebody putting. Was it an anzac biscuit or a rissole? It, it looked like matter. a uh, rissole. What do you prefer to eat? Well, not a raw rissole. <laughs> why? Are you, what are you grinning at me like that for? No, just the way you said rissole. Rissole. Yeah. Oh, recipe. No, no, rissole. it's good. Or an anzac cookie. Or an anzac cookie. It depends whether I want sweet or savoury, doesn't it? What are we mm. talking about this for? <laughs> so we've got Chris He's planning what to cook you. Yeah, on right. A special night. If I go to your award winning restaurant and I get a rissole and an Anzac cookie, <laughs> I'm asking for my money back. <laughs> um, so, Chris Evans is the immigration minister, isn't he? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and there were rissole slash Anzac biscuits and a room full of people. There's your answer. Thank you very much. They do have it. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> You're not listening at all, are you? That was a, that was a trap for you. <laughs> I clapped away there like a silly ninny. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Like, yeah, seriously, I've got no idea what's going on. They're planning on uh, reducing the number of jobs that will... You know, so, so if somebody needs to oh. come from another country, turning study the something, get permanent residency at the end of the course, and they're, they're cutting... They're turning the unemployed into results? <laughs> Not just the unemployed, but the foreign unemployed. Yes. Oh, it'd be tasty. <laughs> You're really different to how I imagined, George. <laughs> sort of cannibalism bench fat thing going on with you. No, it's just, it's, yeah. There's a reason why we don't let him out. <laughs> That's what I'm just saying. The, only, the, the jobs I know that have been cut are hairdressing and cookery. I think oh, yes, 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 they yeah. have, yes. Cookery? Yes. Chefery. Yes. That's what it is, isn't it? That there, are, there were a number of courses you could do in Australia and when you got to the end of it, you would automatically get permanent residency here and now that number of courses has been yep, whittled shrunk. Down. Like George when he moves away from the kitchen bench. <laughs> Ten points, ladies and gentlemen. Succinct, beautiful. As part of an overhaul of immigration, the government has drawn up a new list of in-demand skills. More than 200 professions have been axed, including fashion designers, hairdressers and cooks. People have traditionally been scared that immigrants will take their jobs, and now that we're only letting in incredibly well-qualified people, that fear can finally become a reality. <laughs> we're no longer importing mathematicians, which should save us a quadrillion dollars. <laughs> and the government says we're no longer taking applications from piano tuners, picture framers and people smugglers. <laughs> so after one young and free round of Good News Week, the Robins team are on ten points. The Hooper team, ten points. After the break, we put the chefs to the test. Welcome back. It's time for a team challenge. The Good News Week kitchen has whipped up a few signature dishes. The ingredients are a clue to the identity of someone in the news. All you have to do is work out who it is. Yeah. Simple? Yeah? yeah no, okay. I'm already confused. Okay. Matt, Mikey, Cal, can yes. you remove the first cloche? Let the, profess do let the yeah, professional do it. Yeah, keep back, Mikey. All right, Mikey, five years of training for this. Okay. Is there an art to it, removing the cloche? Um, George is the master, but George, luckily George has trained me. So I can do and it. where does the term cloche come from? Um, it comes from when... It comes from a bell, French word for a bell. Oh. Ah. There's the cloche. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Not appetising. Yes, what? that's grotesque. That is disgusting. <laughs> you can make it look even worse by this. <laughs> <laughs> We don't have a, a good news week kitchen. I'm, uh, I, I'm, I'm feeling your dirty little paw prints are all over this. 
it's not. I haven't. I haven't had it. Yeah, okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> You're yeah. a strange and twisted man, McDermott. We have a beautiful. We have a beautiful pair of. Pig's ears. Pig's ears. The outside. Yeah. Um, Ooh, this, yum. I believe, looks like a tongue. It looks like the back tongue. end of a plant. It's in fact a forked tongue. It's a, for it's a fork. forked tongue and roasted budgie. Oh. Oh. And we have virgin olive oil. Does that help? Oh. Oh. Mm. Okay. Putting it all together. Anybody getting it? Forked tongue. Forked tongue. Lies. Tony Abbott. Tony Abbott. Mm. Hey, 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 hey. Whose game is it? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not your game, is it, sweetheart? It's not your game. It's not like I'm the smartest person in the room. Put a muzzle on it. Right? <laughs> he was getting to it. We're playing with the ideas here. Jesus. You can't just rush to the conclusion, love. What you Go on, who wants to be a millionaire, sweetheart? <laughs> yeah, looking D for annoying, Eddie. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. right uh, uh, have you got any ideas? I've got a little clue here. Might be able to help you out. This is a a pork pie. Oh. Goes with that. A bit, a bit of English rhyming slang is there about the pork pie. We're English rhyming slam for a lie. So we're talking to someone who likes to lie, are we? Roasted budgies, budgie yep. smugglers. Yeah. And of course, uh, the man was a virgin for quite some time. Uh, I think it's Tony Abbott. It's Tony <laughs> Abbott. <laughs> Ruining the birthday party for everyone. <laughs> just, just in future, if you do get a bright spark and decide, oh no, that answer, could you just hold on to that impulse to scream it out just for a second? <laughs> All right, so we have Tony Abbott's Gospel Truth Goulash. That's the. Oh. First one. Shall we move to you now? You know how the game's played. Yep. And if you need uh, a hand at all, that woman will shout out something. <laughs> So, George, can you show us your style in removing the cloche? Milk it, Georgie. Milk it. Milk it. Professional oh. cloche. I want to see you get up nice and close to that bench, George. <laughs> <laughs> Not so quickly, all right? Oh, it, sorry. You know. There's a master at work. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, don't oh. do that. Oh. Do both at once. Do both at once. No. Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Ah, what is that beautiful that appetising is... dish? We have Ooh. a saucy serving of small pear in little tart. <laughs> With overdressed turkey, it may contain nuts. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah. Pears. Well, could mean breasts. I'm, I'm guessing it's a nice pear. A nice pear yeah. of breasts. In a little tart. So we're talking so... A, a small lady, perhaps? <laughs> Am I taking this too literally? No, take it literally. I think All you're right. getting close there. I love peanuts. Salty peanuts. I don't think you should... Would uh, they be salted, no, would they be salted salty inside, peanuts. though, once you... That's, <laughs> that's, that, 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 that is a sign of a top not chef. They're salted <laughs> inside the shell. Yeah. <laughs> well, so you crack them open, you feel like they're unsalted, but then, wow, you get that zingy taste. <laughs> Actually, if you so soak these in acidulated water, you could introduce salt to it, smart ass. <laughs> Yes, smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling intimidated, are you, George? <laughs> thing is, none of us can argue back because none of us know what the hell acidulated water is. <laughs> well, it's like, do you, do you ever have body pain where you need to jump in the bath with salt in the water? Oh, it's why don't you just say salty water, George? <laughs> well, it's a bit more fancy, okay, right? all right? Yeah, like go to the ocean and throw your peanuts in. <laughs> And watch them come back to you full of flavour. <laughs> so we've got a, a, a little woman with a good pear, yep. but she's old. I'm guessing that's your overdressed turkey. And got turkey. nuts, so she could be oh, a he-she. she's she. a he-she. Is there a difference between a he-she or a she-he? Uh, about 25 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a follow-up clue? Oh, you do, yes. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Do we, get a, do we get a little... Some baby food. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't get what it means. Oh, Gugu oh, Gaga. Just, just have oh, a baby. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, can we have an answer? Lady Gaga. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It is Lady Gaga. <laughs> Lady Gaga's disco stick to life. 
Oh, it's working well. And now... You're doing, doing really well, George. No, no. You're doing really well. You are doing really well. I know you were worried, but you're doing really well. <laughs> oh, that's so insultingly patronising. No, it? we no, come from a no, show where, where we, we look after each, each other. When a comedian says you're doing really well to another comedian, it means you look like a tool. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, th and, that's why, and that's why chefs and food critics will inherit the world and comedians won't. Yeah. <laughs> we don't understand sincerity, but we're a hell of a lot more interesting. <laughs> We've got two of the meals down. I'm blaming that woman over there for this. Can we remove the uh, the second cloche on your team and the third cloche all together? Okay, oh, what have we got oh. there? Oh, beautiful. Well, we've got we've got what looks like it's very lean. It looks like a very a very small cat. Um, <laughs> that looks like a chilli sauce and um and an artichoke. They're in season, um, which you see, it's beautiful. Look at that. Yeah. They're a nice bit of flesh on the inside, and then yeah, the heart in the middle. Um, or maybe it's more like a rabbit. Maybe it's more like a wild rabbit. Wild I don't know. rabbit. Do you You've got the rabbit right. Yes. I, I always associate artichokes with uh, with Italy, and particularly uh, the city of the city of Rome. Well, it's a Roman artichoke. Yeah. Wow, you're you're so well travelled. No, it's, it's written on the screen. <laughs> uh, young wild rabbits. In. Uh, Hot, hot sauce. It's fiery. Tempered. Oh. Fiery. Okay. Oh, I, th I think I might know the answer to this one. I'm going to throw in this. It's a can of Robin. The Batman? Is the answer Batman? <laughs> so close. Can Robin? No, there's another can one. Can Robin. It's a fiery, tempered rabbit. And a Roman uh, artichoke. A gladiator. Uh, and Robin. Everyone uh, wants it. Come on. Russell uh, Crowe. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah, him. Russell Crowe. That one there. Russell Crowe. Thank you very much. I have it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the final, the final clash on their team. Here we go. I need the noise. Wait, you want the dun dun dun? You want the whoosh noise? Ready? You want dun dun dun? Oh! Oh! oh. oh. This is disgusting. It's, oh. This is horrible. It's isn't it? really disturbing, Paul. <laughs> it's a headless chicken taking a shit. <laughs> Tell you what, that's the last time we get David Lynch to come in here and make the food. <laughs> Uh, spring chicken on a bit of seaweed and pink lady apples. Oh, that is beautiful seaweed. That, I that's... love that stuff. Mm. Please don't. Oh, he oh. did. That's oh, delicious. It's got so much umami flavour. Mm. <laughs> it's, 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 very, it's very now, isn't very it? Now, yeah, very, very now, yeah. Try some. What is very umami? Do, do you want, does anyone It's the, it's the hidden that, that, taste. Mm. Yeah, that, that mystery taste. Delicious. Yeah, taste of Vegemite. Mm. Oh, that mystery okay. taste there could be that it's been left out overnight. <laughs> So we've got pink ladies. A what? What is that? Is that a small chook? Yeah, it looks like yes. a yeah. Really a nice and sweet chicken. at that age. Really. <laughs> <laughs> so do we know who it represents? I, I can throw it, yeah. something yeah. in uh, to help you out. I got an uh, Look, there oh, we go. Yeah, yeah. It's a can oh. of solo. Oh. Wait, oh. lemon, lemon, oh. lemon, oh. solo, lemon, lemon chicken. Oh, oh, <laughs> so oh. solo, oh. solo, solo. Oh. 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 I'm going to help you out. No, Here we really? go, round and round and round. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Sorry, Mikey. Sorry, Mikey, you didn't travel far enough north. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jessica Watson. Real? Yeah, definitely. Jessica Watson. Thank you very much. I have it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the last one. I think we do this at the same time. Okay. Ah! Yep. You're going to reveal at the same time? Okay. Right. Uh, okay. This See if you can get these ones. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, going old you're school. Just, going old school on the comedy there. You're turning to everybody's dad at a barbecue. Da, 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 da. I'm so going to take that back to our oh, show. Really? <laughs> oh, take it, mate. Thanks, take mate. it. I'd like to see with those 15 cloches you have in a row, just every one. <laughs> oh, 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 glue the cloche onto the plate. <laughs> uh, okay, are you ready? Yep. Right, what do you got? Oh. Pine. Oh. What the hell is that? Um, Go and examine if you'd like. Oh my gosh. That's a really bad Greek salad. <laughs> George Columbaris. Is that the same? Thank you very George. much. Yeah. George Columbaris, you don't have any got it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, George Columbaris here. We have. Preston, Matt Preston. Matt Preston, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah. What is that? Is that a 
this, Pete? <laughs> uh, imported bangers and mash and a tall glass of all grey and beautifully dressed pork neck. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> the thinking woman's crumpet. Yes. <laughs> Matt Preston, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Shaved ham, uh, stuffed with feta, drenched in olive oil on a bed of vine leaves and egg and lemon soup. Oh. George Colombardo. Yes. Uh, can you please thank everyone that's participated in this wonderful cook-off? <laughs> Coming up, so you think you can mine. It's good news week. During the break, as we decided not to go bang in Bangkok, both teams were given three clues to this strange but true story. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> Robbins, Wilson and Preston got. <laughs> uh, meat. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you bench fat. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like the autopsy show on SBS at the moment. He does, he looks like some kind of meat angel, doesn't he? Oh. The... It's like someone's, yeah, someone's plucked all the feathers out of Gabriel. <laughs> I'm a rotisserie. <laughs> it's like watching a raw kebab shop, isn't it? <laughs> if you buy a cow in May, you get a free Mikey inside. <laughs> hey, wouldn't that freak you out? <laughs> it's like the world's gro most grotesque pinata. <laughs> Dinner's ready! <laughs> it also looks to me a little bit like... Um, looks like you're just about to be born, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get off that now. Uh, we've also got a cutting utensil. It's really dangerous to give me a cleaver. Oh, God. I'm the clumsiest woman in the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that rang true. Oh, no, don't. And finally... And finally, she first came to prominence in George. That's the band, not the chef. <laughs> <laughs> the voice of an angel holding a machine gun, she is Katie Noonan. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Katie, how are you? I'm good. Lovely how are to you? have you with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah. You have a new band, I believe. Well, newish. Two and a half years we've been playing. They're yeah. called The Captains. And this is the first album you've released with them? Yep. And you're touring with the captains? Yes, we go out on the road uh, the week after next. We start in Cairns and make our way all around Australia mm -hmm. and uh, finish up in Yumandi. You beat Yumandi. Yumandi? Oh, yep. there's always a good crowd in Yumandi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <right. clears throat> we have some Yumandi people in, do we? <laughs> God, the, the, that means the town must be empty. <laughs> <laughs> what would I know? I'm a giant piece of meat. <laughs> oh, how often do you get to say that? <laughs> and you have a bit of a clue for us. I do, I have a clue. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'll tell you something. I hope you'll understand that I, I'll say something now. Oh, yeah. It's fantastic. I think oh. I've got bench fat. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, could you please thank Katie Noonan. <laughs> and Hooper, Colin Barris and Grant have dog hair. Just saying hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, worms. <laughs> Do we have worms? Oh. Oh. I used to love doing that. That's molecular gastronomy. Lick <laughs> <laughs> it. No. Go on, you love it. Come on, lick oh, it. Yeah, I love it. You don't like it, do you? Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> don't put it back, George. <laughs> Did you cook that? No. <laughs> <laughs> And this. This is very exciting. One of the most awesomest musicians in the country. A true living legend. Ladies and gentlemen, Ian Moss! Mossy! <laughs> want to chat first? Want a bit of a chat about yeah, you? a bit of a chat, yeah. What are you up to? I've just started a tour. I'm out the next two or three months sort of belting around the country doing this, exactly this kind of thing. Solo acoustic. Solo acoustic? Yeah. Promoting a um, new album, or most recent album. This one? You just happen to have. I'll, I'll, I'll do my good thing. Look at that. Yeah. Soul on West Fifty Third. Yeah. And you happy with the album? It's good. It's Fuck working. Yeah. Why'd you got Barnsley on it? Why'd you got that fella? <laughs> oh, his, yeah. voice, his voice is gone. Good look it? after your old mate. You got yeah. nothing there. You got nothing left. That fella. You just. <laughs> you helped me out. Paul. Paul. Oh, you know it as well. There's nothing yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah. This coming from a man who's always sang like Tony Barber. <laughs> Tony, if you're out there and you're still alive, I wear that with pride. <laughs> Go and ask your mum and dad. <laughs> anyway, that's uh, gorgeous. Always a uh, joy to have you on, Ian. <laughs> Thanks very much. And what clue are you going to give us? See what happens. Once I smoked a denim on cigar I drove a foreign car Baby, that was years ago I left it all behind I had a friend I heard she died On a needle she was crucified But baby, that was years ago This is the madness of the mime, and for the first time in Good Newsweek history, Mikey Robbins is going to do the mime. Um, I, um, um, no. You're going to be good. You'll be, good. You'll be great. You'll be great. Shit. Okay, you ready? Oh, you weren't ready. <laughs> <laughs> Said were you already, but you weren't quite. Oh, there it is, gone. Oh. <laughs> See, for a second it was there, then it was gone. It was gone. Just like a Logie. It was gone. <laughs> That'll come back. And oh, did I get your little handy? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Uh. Oh, no. <laughs> Mikey, Mikey. There? Mikey, you know you're, you're allowed to read it out loud? Oh, <laughs> come on, come on. Don't be deceived by that wanton siren over there. <laughs> Calling you to your doom. <laughs> Where do I start? Well, probably at the beginning. <laughs> um, I want that lady to help. <laughs> Are uh, you over here, Mikey? Where? where? Yeah. Just over here somewhere. I want Just her to do you. the mime. <laughs> hey, did we tell you once? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start. Oh, don't worry with... about me. I don't have to talk through anything. Uh, Skipping. Uh, no, for, wait a second. What? Your time starts now. Skipping. <laughs> Except rabbit. 
Oh, uh, a scratch itchy rabbit. No, no, rabbit no, 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 no. Thumper. Thumper. Oh, oh, oh. Pooing rabbit. rabbit. <laughs> rabbit with a tail. Is this an indication that we close rabbit? No. Oh. Uh, 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 kangaroo. Uh, kangaroo. Kangaroo. Oh, kangaroo. 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 A kangaroo having sex. <laughs> Kang <laughs> kangaroo shagging. A kangaroo, a kangaroo Ka that's working as a chef in a restaurant and getting really excited. <laughs> 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 there are a lot of them. Okay. All right. Shang a, a shagaroo, a kangaroo. <laughs> Wayne Carey. <laughs> <laughs> a kangaroo attracted to a kangaroo with really big shoulders. No. A, a female kangaroo. kangaroo. Kangaroo, go back to the a doggy kang style. No, no. Kangaroo having sex. <laughs> a kangaroo having sex with Claire and Corinne. <laughs> Lesbian kangaroos. <laughs> I'd watch that. <laughs> Hourglass figure, why does it have is so it... many bobbles on it? <laughs> I have problems! Okay, so hot, hot female kangaroo. No. <laughs> Excuse me, Mikey, just one thing. Yeah. You're standing in front of my shot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so kangaroo. Having kangaroo. sex. When kangaroos mate. Oh, I know this story, but I'm not helping. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> is why I don't do the mime! <laughs> Oh. No! <laughs> then we get half the points. Oh! Oh! oh I've got it! Oh, I've no, got it! Please. I've it's got it! I've got it! I've got it! I've got it! So! So! That's the first time I've seen a kangaroo run like that. <laughs> a kangaroo running like a dirty old man. <laughs> Okay, so this, I, I think I've read this story. There was, uh, I, I can't remember which town it was in, but women walking, backpackers up north, perhaps Alice Springy area, Northern Territory, yes, Kakadu. Yes, yes, um, Northern Territory. Northern Territory, uh, there was a male kangaroo that was getting trying to get jiggy with female walkers. And the police said they couldn't do anything about it unless he did it again. <laughs> I was stuck on the hole. What the hell is a that? <laughs> the metal lump was her backpack. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was attracted to the pouch. <laughs> yes, in the territory town of Tennant Creek, a horny boy kangaroo is trying to meet a nice human girl. Unfortunately, seeing a big roo with an engorged member makes your average woman pretty jumpy. <laughs> which just makes it worse. <laughs> Yeah. Authorities have advised women in the area that the best defence is to get a Brazilian wax because apparently he's a bush kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. Oh, I'm ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of myself. Poor Kanga can't even take care of himself with those little arms. <laughs> <laughs> apparently that's, that's why they started jumping. <laughs> Where's a kitchen bench when a roo needs it? <laughs> so far, none of the women have taken the roo up on his offer. They want someone who's willing to commit, who's got some prospects, and who isn't a naked marsupial with a heart on. <laughs> and then again, if you look hot to a roo, you're probably a bit too pouchy for most other guys, so I, I say go for it. <laughs> oh, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Who can match the peerless mind skills of Mikey Robbins? Find out after this. Uh, the mime adventure continues. Captain Hooper, you did it recently. <laughs> Are you up for it again, or who would you like to nominate no, in your no, team? No, I just re-sprained my ankle running away from Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> and to all of the people that saw me sprain my ankle at the airport, I'm not embarrassed at all. <laughs> and the ankle's healing up nicely, thank you for asking. But yeah, no, I can't. I can't mime. Uh, George, you up for a mime? Do you know what, George? You don't have to mime. Why? They can't make you. Yeah, You don't exactly. want to do it. Yeah. I'm not, because I'm not a team player. <laughs> so who are we going to have? Are we just it's forfeit? Right. Look, um, I know who we can call in, because luckily, anywhere that there's free sandwiches backstage, there will also be the Umbilical Brothers! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Oh, oh, good. Good to see you, both oh, of you. Uh, finally, you. an opponent whose skills are equal to our own. <laughs> Uh, where have you, where, you've just come back to Australia. We've just flown in West. Uh, last two months, um, uh, uh, Finland, Brazil, Poland, Brazil, um, Poland, Poland, Germany, Scandinavia, Scandinavia, um, uh, Holland, and that was all on one Barocca. Wow. <laughs> Are you going to be back with us for a while? Are we going to be able to see your yeah. skills? And yes, your we're just where we've um, upside down show. Have you seen our? Upside I love down the upside. Show? Yeah. Anyone love the upside down show? <laughs> One an Emmy, one a Logie. Oh, I love the I love the upside down. Those, those, those Logies, those Logies are easy to get. Um, <laughs> uh, we've. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're touring, we're going to do some shows up here. Yeah, we thought we should actually do shows at home so that people know that we're still alive. Oh yeah. So. Are we ready for this? <laughs> yes, yes, please. Look at the mime. They love it. They love it. Love we don't actually do mime. It's just everything oh, oh, is yeah, invisible. In there. Okay. 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 <laughs> That's, yeah. Can you, well, you've got the... Uh, where are you? I'm up here. Hang on a second. I've, oh, okay, right. Yeah, yeah, so you're the... Yes, I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, of yeah. course. Okay. You're good? Yeah. Because I've got... Yeah. All right. Well, I'm that. Right. Yes. Okay. And you wear the... So, Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be entertained. Where are we? Over here. It's, oh, it's... Uh, hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, um, you're looking gorgeous. Thank you. And you're looking gorgeous. Oh, and that's, that's a very nice, nice tie. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I don't think you've got much competition, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, 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 okay. okay. Oh, do you want to... Okay. Give... You're running late. Uh, <laughs> Are uh, you busy? Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> Your time starts now. Oh. <laughs> wow, deja vu, Steve. Oh, uh, you're, you're running late. You're high-level executives. No. You're not going to get that. That was a stupid idea. Okay, that's stupid. That's stupid. Germans. You're a guard. Oh, close. Oh, 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 oh you're Russian. Russian. Yes. Sorry. Oh, that's one word down. Russian. Okay, see what we were doing. Russian. Oh. 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 See, yeah, see? An opponent whose skills are equal to our own. <laughs> Bring it on, my boys. Okay, uh, okay. Uh. Oh, address? Oh, he's oh, proposing, proposing to her. Oh. And by her, I mean the oh. guy Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh! 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 You're better off without her. She's not a classy broad. Oh! Heartbroken. You. See, wait. So the Russian jilt is love with Sorry. It's good. Is this sound of music? I wouldn't know. Oh, you're about to do it. 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 You're not supposed to speak. It's mime. What's the first rule of mime club? Shut the fuck up. Exactly. Sorry, right. Don't do it. Oh, you saved me. And now it's a beautiful young lady <coughs> with a baby. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's pregnant. Pregnant, yes. She's, but not that, look, she's not. Hemorrhoids? The whole of the lady who food on your heart. Massive hemorrhoids. <laughs> She's being sent out of home because she's got a baby in her tummy, not coming out inside. Oh, oh no! It's oh, like she's on the bridge. She's on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Are you on the uh, jet ski? Yeah, that's not important. The unimportant it? details. Okay. Hovercraft. <laughs> 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 unimportant details. Sorry. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> None of this feels safe. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not safe. They're both going to kill themselves. Yes. Titanic. Oh, ew. Oh. oh. Breast enlargements. Hey, you don't want his, it's got vomit in it. It's <laughs> 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 a detail. It's just a <laughs> Baby bungee. That's <laughs> <laughs> 
That's that's it, really. So that's, that's, that's it. That's, that's it. it. Can you put it together? Yes. The story is. Oh, they jumped anyway. The story is. Ladies and gentlemen, the umbilical brothers. Uh, do you want to stay here? Find out if they get it right. So. Uh, a negligent young mother was so busy romancing a complete stranger on a bridge that she let her baby fall in the river. <laughs> Almost <laughs> not quite. Oh, two, two suicides met. Yes. yes. Mm. In what, what country? Russia. Russia. Thank you. And they, you know, top poured their hearts out to each other, told each other their stories, and they thought, well, bugger me, why don't we get married instead of topping ourselves? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. The That's a lovely story. Can I just say, uh, uh, suppose they're okay. <laughs> uh, in Russia, a heartbroken man planning to leap off a bridge found love again with a woman who was about to jump from the same spot. Oh. Oh. They're head over heels. <laughs> to think, if he'd been there ten minutes later, she might have broken his fall. Oh, oh you're not a nice man. <laughs> When the devastated Andre Ivanov arrived at the bridge, he found the pregnant Maria Petrova climbing over the railings. He saw her there and just knew, out of everyone trying to kill themselves by leaping off that particular bridge, at that particular time, Maria was the one. <laughs> at least they won't expect each other to be emotionally stable. <laughs> <laughs> over there now, 145 points. Over there, 143 points. Strange but true is next. This is Strange But True, the Strange But True rap. Mikey Cal. Matt, you, <laughs> you had the side of beef? I'm a jet fighter pilot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm a sad man wrapped up in a foam cow skin. <laughs> uh, we also have the blade. The humane way to kill a carrot. Ah. I should have squealed a bit more, shouldn't yes. I? Yes. <laughs> Don't let her anywhere near your bench fat. And... <laughs> <laughs> and this... The admirable leader of the captains, Katie Noonan. <laughs> now, please say to me You'll let me be your woman Help, please say to me You'll let me hold your hand I want to hold your hand I want to hold your hand And when I touch you I feel happy inside It's such a feeling Got. Wow, on behalf of all the pieces of meat, that was fantastic. 
I'm still a bit blown away, to be honest. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah. Um, I think, unfortunately, Cal, this story comes from your part of the world. This is what I was hoping that it wouldn't be, but then I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Uh, that this might be to do with um, a report that came out about a, uh, like a meat processing place in Southland, mm -hmm. in the South Island. Am mm. I on the right track? Yep, yep, yep. yep. Uh, so. And there was a report that came out that... 12 workers, I think over the period of a year, had lost 13 fingers between them. <gasps> wow. Which is enough for two whole hands. Um, and then some. <laughs> yeah. It's spares, because you'll lose some of them when yeah, you drop them off It's Southland, mate. So, you're right, yes, it is Southland. Yeah, so, um, so, yeah, so, uh, one worker managed to lose two fingers, but not at the same time. He came back after he got used to having that, and then, oh! sort of thing. Hello, mittens! That kind of thing. <laughs> 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 I mean, you know, knives are sharp and dangerous. Now, you, you bucks in kitchens, particularly you, George, you must have seen some, some, some whackers sometimes. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, uh, an apprentice, um, wedge of palm, a whole wheel of parmesan, knife in, <gasps> and he's, he's cutting it, and then he's put his hand underneath oh! for some reason. I won't go into the rest. Oh. <laughs> I would like to hear it for one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a waste of yeah. good parmesan. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I never thought, I don't remember, did they use the parmesan? It'd be interesting. You'd just no. cut out the wedge. You'd cut out no. the wedge and use the rest of it, surely. Well, I don't use parmesan. I'm a Greek restaurant. No. Oh. 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 I actually, I, I, and you just look like a real wimp hurting yourself cutting feta. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so in New Zealand, uh, an accident at a meat works, the uh, fellas lose the, their fingers? Yep, yeah, so, so 12 meat workers have lost 13 fingers over about a year. So there's, right. there's been into a, an investigation into why it could be the clumsiest meat works in the world, which is a great idea for a sitcom, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to add anything, Matt? You have no, fingers? I thought it was a far better story about a meat worker collecting hands of people he's been chopping up. Story. Yeah, which is, which is a, a very famous, a very famous story of people what? keeping what? keeping hands, keeping the hand of the one you love. <laughs> you speak a bit too personally about True story. this. True yeah, story. Yes, not me. Okay, <laughs> my wife has got both her hands. <laughs> my last girlfriend. <laughs> oh God, yeah, old old Stumpy Allison. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, but how do you store the hand? Where do you, where do you put it? Icebox. In, 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 in the, the blast chiller. It's like Napoleon. Or do you, do you at least... <laughs> I, I would salt it and confit it. I mean, that, that would do it. <laughs> would you use acidulated water? No, no. You'd, no, you'd go 100% salt. You'd a flick of thyme just for some flavour. Garlic. Uh, maybe a little bit of star anise would be delicious. You know what I'd, do? I'd, I'd like to varnish it and use it to store my rings. <laughs> Practical. They do have, by the way. Give them a big round of applause. Uh, the New Zealand Labor Department is investigating a meat works after 12 employees lost 13 fingers in 18 months. And the guy who used to be all thumbs isn't anymore. <laughs> Even occupational health and safety is stumped. Here's a tip. Oh, and there's another 12. The problem is, once you lose a finger, it makes it much harder to use the bandsaw. And the whole situation just escalates. <laughs> Stay tuned, more Strange But True, right after this. It's good news This is Strange But True, Act Two. Claire, George, Corinne, your clues were the dog. The dog. Hey. Hey! Hey, you little fucker! <laughs> oh, this really doesn't come off. <laughs> like, it's starting to hurt. Watch your fingers. That's some fine acting there. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. It was I like feel... the Umbilical Brothers had come back. <laughs> uh, we also have the worms. Mm. I'm not leeking it You're again. You're licking it. No, I'm not. It's been out there for too long. Oh. I know someone who'll lick it. Come on, lick it! <laughs> oh! oh. Oh. Uh, no, it. I'm not licking Come it. Come on, only the doggy. A dog's lick that. <laughs> Ew. Come on. That, that sounds so much like my honeymoon. Can we make that <laughs> eat this? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, lick it. I'm not licking it. It's been out there too long. <laughs> <laughs> <A dog's lick. laughs> 
Ah, dear, dear God. Well, I hope the children are in bed. <laughs> and this. The one and only Ian Moss! Ian Moss! <laughs> Sitting on the beach, drinking rocket fuels. Oh, yeah. No. I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> Can you be positive? <laughs> well, we don't have. No, wait, wait, wait. You need George. to break it down here. Okay. Break it down. Break it down. Well, it could be. Um, <laughs> this could be hair of the dog. Hair. And um, the um. And you eat Vegemite when you have hair. Oh no, it's worms, isn't it? Mm. Shh, Corinne. You get worms <laughs> when you eat. You know, when you eat raw dough, you you get worms. What? Like pizza dough and stuff. Yeah, yeah. How? I've eaten oh, heaps no. of raw dough. What, there's worms in the dough? <laughs> <laughs> Who told you that? I don't know, I can't remember. Yeah, that's right. Is that, are you sure that's true? Because there's no worms in dough. If there's worms well, in your dough, it, you shouldn't wait. be serving it. <laughs> <laughs> it becomes worms? How does it become it, worms? No. How could it possibly go from being well, flour and hey, water hey, this to is, a living uh, animal? This, this, is, this is like a first date that's gone horribly <laughs> wrong. <laughs> Uh, Why would you say that? I'm going. <laughs> there is a there is a wine in Vietnam made of worms. Oh wait, actually. And apparently, you know, tequila, the worms, the chip worms. Wait, no, actually, you know what? Think think about no, this. That's not tequila. Think that's... about this. The the worm was in the wine, so it got smashed. It got drunk. Right. Yeah. Think of it like a science experiment. Maybe they they're doing it for to sort of work out humans. So if you got drunk. Hair of the dog, meaning the next day you sort of sobered up, then you drunk some more. What happens to the brain? Whatever's happened to yours. I, mean. <laughs> I like where your logic's going, George. Yeah, experimenting. Experimenting with worms, stuff. Yeah. Getting him drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Getting worms drunk. That's a tiny <laughs> shot glass. <laughs> Like dousing a worm in alcohol, drying it out, and then dousing a worm in alcohol again. I mean, how else would you do it? When well, it's working out how. The, so they're working out something to do with the, the human. When you know, the next day they wake up and hair of the dog it. Are we anywhere like near it? I've got to tell you, he's got it. What? <laughs> Sorry. I, 
I'm very sorry, Mr. Colin Barris, for making fun of you and being a naysayer. That's you, please. <laughs> Neuroscientists in the UK have discovered that getting worms drunk, then giving them a hair of the dog to treat their hangovers, gets them hooked on booze, just like us. How do you, how do you tell if a worm is drunk? Researchers found the nerve cells of tiny worms exhibited the same symptoms of alcohol withdrawal and dependence as humans. And it's quite hard to tell when a worm is drunk. Wriggling around naked in the dirt is their natural state. <laughs> That's why these guys are top-notch neuroscientists. Yep. Uh, they're also, when a worm's drunk, they're also uh, more likely to eat leftover kebabs. Um, <laughs> they're more likely to start a fight with a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> and to go home with an attractive worm, only to find out the next morning she's a total shoelace. <laughs> There's nothing worse than a worm with a splitting headache. The worst part is, you're not even sure it is your head. Could be all morning you've been stumbling around clutching your throbbing ass. <laughs> Stay tuned, Creepy Crawlies. Fast Money is next. <laughs> Here it is, the game that gets more confusing every day. Joe Hockey's Fast Money. <laughs> In Colorado, a man who claimed he was attacked by muggers has instead been charged with illegal discharge of a firearm. What did he do? Uh, he shot himself in the pants. You're right. Yeah. yeah. He shot himself in the groin and then tried to cover up by going, I was mugged oh, by yeah. someone who shot me in the pants because why would I do that to myself? Yep. <laughs> She's got it. He was embarrassed. In Oxfordshire, a sign has been erected asking drivers to watch out for foxes in the area. What does the sign say? Something like, slow down for fox's sake. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that, what does that say? Uh, for fox sake, slow down. Oh, so you have it, five oh, points. Yeah. And it's working, people are slowing down to read the sign and finding it enjoyable. Uh, in New Zealand, a driver crashed out of a car rally after being distracted by a spectator. Yep. Uh, what happened? He got moved. Moon, yeah, he yep, got yep, moved. yep, 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 yep. Bang. Red light. You're a genius at this game. I love it. Uh, Cal has it. It was my cousin. It was my, it was my cousin. It was your cousin was yes. mooned or was driving? Both of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the original question was he tried to moon back. <laughs> In Ohio, the fast food chain White Castle is raising money for charity by selling something a little different. What is it? Something edible? Geez, you're having a crack at everyone. It's <laughs> very close. Something healthy. Salad, yeah, something. No, salad. no, no. Anybody over there? Um, um, slow food, it's selling slow food, really slow oh, food. That's sad, you didn't get that one, that's sad. What is it, what are they selling? What are they selling? Scented candles. Oh, how have we oh. ever got that? It's not edible. That's oh, that yeah, smells... I asked you if it was edible and you said yes. Oh, no, I didn't say yes, food. I said you're in the right area. <laughs> <laughs> that smell like hamburgers. Oh, oh yeah. So oh, now we're a little bit wiser, aren't we? I'll tell you what, that, that candle could drive your stoner friends berserk. <laughs> <laughs> man, there's hamburgers here somewhere, man. There's hamburgers. Oh, no, there's no, mate, no, there's hamburgers here somewhere. And this one, of course, is thrown open to anyone. In London, a woman staged an unusual protest against the war in Afghanistan. What did she do? Um, she got naked and Bang. was on the top of a taxi doing yoga. What? <laughs> kind of like the kids from Fame, but a bit not. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So in the mystery box tonight, Mikey Robbins, Cal Wilson and Matt Preston scored a delicious 170 points. Roasting Claire Hooper, George Columbaris and Corinne Grant on 158 points. Yeah. <laughs> 10.com.au slash GNW is the place to get the podcast, go behind the scenes or just relive Mikey's performance as a horny kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> so we say, why does anyone care what Jason Acknamanis thinks? Yes. And leave you with the good news for the week ahead. On Wednesday, Jessica Watson will visit Brisbane. But it won't be officially recognised because she doesn't go far enough into the northern suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> National Sorry Day will go horribly wrong when Indigenous people decide they'd actually prefer some practical action instead. 
It's the Dungog Film Festival, not to be confused with the Dugon Film Festival, <laughs> which features a manatee matinee. <laughs> The 10th anniversary of the bridge walk for reconciliation will go horribly wrong when Indigenous people decide they'd actually prefer some practical action instead. <laughs> the Salvation Army Red Shield appeal will begin aiming to raise $75 million. So please, dig deep. Seems like a lot of money for a Red Shield, but the Prime Minister really wants one. <laughs>